السلام علیکم ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل آج ہم آئے ہوئے ہیں دارالرکم اسکول رانچی میں انوائٹیڈ ہیں اور آج یہاں پہ ہو رہا ہے قرآن اینڈ ماڈرن سائنس ایگزیبیشن کا پروگرام چل رہا ہے جہاں پہ چیف گیسٹ کے طور پہ آئے ہوئے ہیں مسٹر سعید احمد انصاری ایکسیکیوٹو ڈائریکٹر اینڈ سینئر ایڈوائزر میدانتا ہاسپٹل اربا اور سیکنڈ ہیں ڈاکٹر مزید عالم چیئر پرسن اینڈ منٹور عالم ہاسپٹل اینڈ ریسرچ سینٹر بریاتو آج کا یہ پروگرام ہو رہا ہے سنڈے چوبیس دسمبر دو ہزار تیئیس کو اور وینیو ہے نیئر آئی ایس ایم چوک پنداگ رانچی جھارکھنڈ تو آئیے آپ لوگ کو اس پروگرام کو دکھاتے ہیں کہ یہاں کے اسٹوڈنٹس نے کس طرح سے پارٹیسپیٹ کیا ہے کیا کیا پروجیکٹس بنائے ہیں وہ سارا کچھ آپ لوگ کو ڈیٹیل میں اس ویڈیو پہ دیکھنے کو ملے گا تو چلیے اسٹارٹ کرتے ہیں السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ آئی ایم دی ٹیچر آف دس اسکول دار الحکم پبلک اسکول اینڈ دے آر مائی اسٹوڈنٹس ہو ہیو پارٹیسپیٹیڈ ان ڈفرینٹ ماڈلس دس از دا ماڈل آف جنریٹنگ الیکٹریسٹی یوزنگ ڈیم واٹر This is the model of phases of the moon. This is of the solar system. This is the model of geothermal energy. This one hydroelectricity. And this one is generating electricity using wind. That's all. Jazakum. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are student of standard 6. Anas, Nasir, Arham and Kasha. We have made a project on generating electricity by using wind mill. This is the wind turbine. And this is light. Street light and in house we have fixed our light and this is farm we have fixed light. When it, when it moves, it starts. And these are the part of uh, wind turbine. This is the generator and this is the gearbox and this is the wind, uh, wind turbine blade and this is the tower. Jazakallah. Assalamu alaikum sir. We are the students of Sand 7. This is Bilal and he is Mawaz. This is our project, hydroelectricity. This is the bridge. This is dam. And this is, these are hills and this is powerhouse. First we will pour the water in it, then we will release the water and by the force of water the turbine will move and it will produce electricity. By the help of it, uh, it will go to the powerhouse and from powerhouse it will go to the transformer and it will provide the street light also. Like this. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace, mercy and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon you. We the students of standard 6 have made a model on solar system. I am Faria Haider and these are my teammates Shamana Parveen and Sarah Hayat. First of all, I will explain about my project. The sun in the middle, asteroids, meteoroids, the eight planets that are arranged as Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus and Neptune and other celestial bodies together form the solar system. My name is Tasneem Fatima of Standard 5. Seen from the Earth, the moon appears to change its shape almost daily. These illusionary shapes of the moon are called phases of the moon. There are some types of phases of the moon. Number one is new moon. This is new moon. When the side of the moon facing of the Earth reflects no sunlight, we cannot see the moon. This is called new moon. Number two is crescent moon. These two are crescent moon. When, when a small portion of the moon is visible in the sunlight, it is called crescent moon. Number three is half moon. These are half moon. When half moon can, the, can be seen in the sunlight, this is called half moon. Number four is Kibbas moon. These are Kibbas moon. When, the, when three quarters of the moon is visible, this is called Kibbas moon. Number five is full moon. This is full moon. When the entire side of the, when the, entire side of the moon is visible, when the entire side of the moon facing of the earth to get sunlight, we see the full moon. Jazakallah. Assalamu alaikum sir. We are the student of standard 8. And this is our model generating electricity using dam water. Water flows, water flows through a pipe, also known as penstroke. The blades of a turbine move to generate electricity. The, then the water will go through the field and the benefits of dam is to generate electricity for the agriculture. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am Farhan Akhtar of Standard 8. We are four members in our team and we are working on a model geothermal energy. Geo means the earth and thermal means the heat. We generate electricity by using the heat, by using the vapor of, of water, under, underground water. Water converts into vapor by the heat of 
the core and then the steam will come to this steam house and after that vapor will go to this turbine house and the turbine will rotate then the electricity will generate and then the electricity will come to this step up transformer which increases the voltage and then it will go to this uh, tower and after uh, it will go to this power grid and pa power grid towers divide the electricity between them and after that it will go to this step up trans step down transformer which are nearer to our house and it decreases the voltage then it will send the electricity to our home and we can do anything what we want and the waste stream will go to this condenser and then the cooling tower send the coolant to this condenser and the vapor will convert into water and then it will go to the and then it will go underground with the water assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is absawal haq and this is my team first we need to know that uh, what is geothermal so geothermal uh, is simply mean the heat of the earth earth layer Geothermal was taken from a Greek word which is geo mean earth and thermal means heat. So mainly earth has three layers, crust, mantle and core. This is the water reservoir we have made here to show the hot water. This is magma which is also known as mantle and which is the layer of the earth. So this water is just present above the layer of uh, magma. So we know that the water which is hot it uh, produce water vapor so scientists research about it that uh, where we could find a place where we could find the hot water so they just drill a pipeline there and they connect that pipeline to the steam house and the work of steam house is to pressurize the steam and send it to the turbine with the help of that steam turbine moves and the shaft which is connected with turbine and generator also moves and it generates electricity and that electricity is transferred to a step up transformer which uh, increases the voltage and send it to the tower and this tower send uh, that electricity to the grid line and grid line towers divide uh, them uh, with each other and then uh, it sends the electricity to the step down transformer and this step down transformer just decreases the voltage and send it to our homes so the waste uh, the remain vapor comes to the condenser which is connected to the cooling tower the work of cooling tower is to provide the coolant the uh, uh, hot vapor which is coming through it it uh, uh, touches with the coolant and it get cold and it again goes to the reservoir so we have shown here the working module of generator that how generator works so if we provide a generator mechanical energy then it converts the mechanical energy into electrical energy which is shown here and the inside view of this is there basically our generator contains two uh, magnets which is north pole and south pole and it contains a coil and a split ring the split ring touches with the uh, the split ring touches with the uh, carbon brush which produces electricity and we have shown here the inner view of a transformer this is step up transformer and this is step down transformer basically in step up transformer secondary coil is more than the primary coil and in step down primary coil is more than the secondary coil this was our project jazakallah khair to ye tha is program ka part 1 jisme humne kuch projects ko cover kiya hai aur baki ke projects aap logo ko part 2 wale video mein dekhne ko milega to part 2 ka video dekhna aap na bhule to chaliye is video ko yahi end karte hain milte hain part 2 mein tab tak ke liye dijiye ijazat allah hafiz